Hiya, um, so today I'm going to chat a little bit about um, fats and slimming world. So one of my big issues I've had along the way is does slimming world give me enough fats in my diet? Is it something I'm going to be able to do long term? Um, there's a little bit of me that always tries to find excuses and ways in which I can't do what I need to do. So what I've done along the way is really try and have a look just to see how much fats Slimming World as a normal diet kind of gives me. So um, I've written a few bits down. Banana, my scrap of paper. Um, and I'm just going to talk about um, the amounts of fats that we need in a day. So. Slim World generally provides us with around um, 1,600 calories a day. It, it, it does, it, it varies up, it's 1,800 sometimes a bit, but sometimes a bit below. But generally, as we're losing weight, it's around 1,600 or so. Um, and f when we consume 1,600 calories a day, we need around 36 grams to 62 grams of fat. So we need to hit that bottom number, 36 grams, to be able to make sure that we're kind of functioning well, um, our brain is working well, we have enough fats in our diet to, to function. Um, now Slimming World is a low fat diet, but it doesn't mean that we're not getting enough fats. So for example, one large egg has five grams of fat. So you can imagine maybe you might have an egg a day. So that's five grams of fat already that you're, that you're getting in your diet. 30 grams of cheese has 10 grams of fat. So again, that's, you know, put those two together, you've already got 15 grams. 250 ml of semi-skimmed has four grams. So you might, if you're doing extra easy, um, you'd only have one of those. Um, you might have the cheese or you might have the semi-skimmed. But you're still getting a little bit of fat within there. I follow, um, still follow green days, but I just make sure I'm having my third speed. So I would have cheese and milk. You know, I'd have two XAs and two XBs. Um, also bread. So a slice of um, bread, the 800 gram loaf, is one gram. And I know it's not a lot, but it all adds up together. Oats. Um, 40 grams of oats have 3 grams of fat in and baked beans have um, interesting enough half a tin of baked beans has 10 grams of fat in so that's already quite a lot now interestingly enough as well um, apples have um, 0.3 grams of fat and pears have 0.2 grams now it doesn't seem a lot but when you're on Slimming World you do a lot of um, eating speed food, a lot of a lot of fruit, a lot of veg. So, for example, you can imagine that you might consume maybe two to three, four grams of fat a day in your fruit and veg. Um, so look, we can take we can take an example of a day. Say, for example, you have um, some uh, two like a two egg omelet with some cheese. That's already hitting um, uh, twenty grams because we have two large eggs five grams each so that's 10 grams 30 grams of cheese 10 grams is already 20 grams and say for example you then have some baked beans with that that's already 10 grams if you have half a tin at that point that's that's 30 grams and we need 36 grams as a minimum um to function so at that point you're skirting around the bottom level anything extra you have upon that is going to be enough fat. I mean, obviously, there's an element where you have to be aware that um, you need the right sorts of fats. So, you know, you need to make sure that um, you're having all your omegas and such. But eggs have a really good supply of, of that. So that's okay. If you want to top up on good fats, you've obviously got avocados. Avocados, um, 50 grams of avocado is four sins. Um, and it's, it's seven grams of fat, so it's a little little top up. 
Um, you could then have um, seven cashews for half a hex B and they're about one gram of fat each. So, you know, seven, seven grams of fat there. So it's not, Slimming World is a low fat diet, but it's not a non-fat diet. It just puts fat into a more even ratio because obviously fats um, have a higher calorific amount which means you can eat more calories more quickly now this what i've been talking about so far is only including healthy extras that that's not at all including sins so you don't even have to um you know you could use your sins on say olives and nuts and things like that but you don't necessarily have to you can still use them on on other stuff crisps chocolate etc and you're still getting um you know a sort of a reasonable amount of fat in your diet if you're eating those other types of foods so i do believe that slimming world um has has a decent level of fat uh built in naturally if you eat a um you know a, a wide variety of the foods so i'd be really fascinated to hear about if any of you have had any um issues along the way with how much fat is in, in is in slimming world is it healthy um you know the long-standing avocado debate oh you can't eat avocados on slimming world well, you you can you just have to sin them and you have to think about um you know how much you want of them that's what slimming world is all about it, it's about um what you can have not what you can't have so yeah drop down you know put in the comments um your opinions on um on fats and healthy fats um in the slow and world structure okay thank you very much for watching um i'm going to do another um vlog on other subjects as they as they come up um because i find that sort of thing dissecting something can really help me understand um, things a lot better so I'm going to be doing some more of those types of things again if you can put in the comments any other types of issues surrounding um, Slimming World um, you can research and, and you know put together another one thank you very much for watching um, and, and see you in the next video goodbye